Good morning! Bunchy Bear had a tough morning. Running around the entire kitchen looking for his global knife that we've had for years. A gift from his brada. And I <laughs> guess sometime, a long time ago, I brought it to my mom. How do I turn this music off? I do not know how to work an iPad. It's like a giant iPhone and I don't have an iPhone. Anyway, uh, he's like searching everywhere because he's going to sharpen his knives. And I finally called my mom and she's like, yeah, we have a knife here that we don't own. So I'm going to go to the gym and then pick up the knife at my mom's. And Belly Bear is popping out. Check it. You know it's the last day of school when it's a zoo at the YMCA. There's kids running around everywhere. And it was just packed there. But, um, great day to be the last day of school. There's actually sun. Tons of clouds, but it's nice. And it's not too cold either. It's about 55 degrees. Which, again, is not cold for us Washingtonians. Finally, we got the knife. I'm having a berry smoothie. I found this in our freezer. I don't know when Benji bought this, but since we don't really have much in our fridge, this is perfect. I used the vanilla uh, protein powder and the frozen strawberries. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, it tastes like sorbet ice cream or It tastes like those um, fruit popsicles. Oh, that's delicious. I am trying one of these Korean teas. Uh, actually, let me get one of these out. A friend of ours from Japan gave us this one. If you know what this is, you should comment below and tell me what's up. Because I can't even read. It's in Korean. So I'm just putting all of it into my cup. It's not working out so well. I don't know. This is what it's supposed to look like. Um, I don't even know how much water to put in or what temperature, so well, I'm still trying it. Thanks, Jenny. I still really haven't tried many of them because I can't read the uh, Korean. But uh, today I'm working from home, getting ready for my brother to be gone for, you know, for a while. And then also I've got my uh, breakdancing competition, so I'm just like packed. I'm just so busy this week. And um, I'm just hoping I can juggle everything. But uh, yeah, had a great weekend. See my brother get married. Kind of felt like maybe I was gonna cry during the wedding, but I actually didn't cry. I got to see Sean Cannell. Sean thinks. So that was pretty cool. So today I am using my Meat Matte palette again. And the colors I'm using. Um, I find that I really do not like this green color. That shilling, when I wore that the other day, I just, ugh, it just looked a little trashy on me. And probably the Matt Horowitz. I have to try that one again. But McDonald, I like. Um, Matt Batali is what I'm wearing today. And then, of course, I like these three brown up here. So um, I do have a little bit of Matt Chung on my crease as well as Matt Gallagher. I feel like it blends pretty well as long as I put um, like a base color, which I put Matt Smith all over my eyes first, the one in the very corner. And then um, once I put the purple on top, it was way easier to blend. Wait, it's blurry. What the heck? The lighting maybe? That's probably one reason why. There you go. That synagogue that's like a week old. I just tasted it. It's great! <laughs> Why? Because I mean, this is all we have to eat. The carne asada that we had yesterday was amaze balls, and Benji got the recipe from uh, I forget his name. Do you remember what his name was? He had the most delicious carne asada, and Benji said he put orange juice, 
lime, what's that other stuff? Salt and pepper, I think, and then he just marinated it. So we're gonna have to do that because we have like a gazillion and one tortillas, um, uncooked tortillas that are sitting in our fridge and might as well put use to them, you know? So I think we should put go to- Put them to use. Put them to use, sorry. Benji tries to help me with my English language. I don't even know what to eat. Benji ate the rest of the sinigang. Oh, I asked you if you want some. I know, I don't really want that. I don't know what I want to eat. It looks like I'm just gonna have a sandwich. I have all the perfect ingredients. And then we're gonna go grocery shopping today. I'm making my sandwich, which looks delicious. It's toasted. And I'm gonna add jalapeno chips. Hey, jalapeno chips, jalapeno chips. I love this stuff. It's been my guilty pleasure. I don't have a lot of it, but um, sometimes I want re something really crunchy and spicy. And it's just a perfect fix. But he's so excited to get his knife sharpened. <laughs> I don't know anybody that gets this excited about knife sharpening. His brother, Julian, got you this bag like what, eight years ago or something? No, like probably like five or four. Uh, is this your first time using it? No. Well, there's a lock. Now tell me that. Look. That's actually safe. That's good because if you leave it in the car. That's cool. Look at that. Got my own case. Got my three knives that I use the most. There's only one that I really like in there, but the other two are like my backups and one's dirty or I'm, you know, cutting something else with the other one <clears throat> or Judy's cooking with me. So. I'm going to this place called the House of Cutlery. I show you. I actually like this store a lot because they know what they're talking about when it comes to knives and stuff. Oh yeah, look at those knives. Going to one of my other favorite places. Buy some grub. Asian market, baby. Oh yeah, H Mart. Watch out now. Asian market's one of the best places to buy uh, Coconuts. Good dang, look, a dollar fifty-nine. You pay like three or four bucks, five bucks at Whole Foods. Okay, this is a first. I've never seen this. Frozen corn. It's literally frozen, and it's just out here in this bin. I have never seen this. It must be like an Asian thing. They must have some special recipe, but I've never seen it like multicolored like that. And look at that. Jackfruit, baby, but that does not look fresh. Fishy, fishy, fishy. I saw the guy using this earlier and I thought that was kind of funny. He swatted that fly. He's like, don't touch my fish. Oh, look at the owls. But they still raise the price. Tea Tuesdays, not coming your way anytime soon. And I got this uh, Korean style sushi. It's like, or a kimbap or something like that. Bulgogi kimbap. It's good. My actual favorite place on earth. <coughs> Woo! Whoa, watermelons. Better go get some. I was tripping. I thought this was one of the free samples. I'm using up whatever we have at home, and we have all the ingredients for spaghetti. So that's what I'm whipping up right now with the mushrooms. Yummers. Got Judy, she's been craving oranges. You know, Prego Monster don't don't wanna uh, make her unhappy. Got me my beer. And I got all this other stuff out. It's not bagged up because I'm gonna put it in my cooler. It's raining, as usual. Almost July and it's been raining almost every day. The saddest dog I've ever seen in my whole life. You could, uh, can make a movie about that dog. How sad that dog is. Yummy. So I'm gonna let this simmer for about 45 minutes or so. It's on really low heat and Benji likes his spaghetti not too saucy but more meaty. Last spot. I promise. Gotta go to Whole Foods for those organic watermelons. 
So I go here for the organic walnuts only. Are these organic? But they're not. Uh oh. Well, that was a fail. I guess this is all they got. But it's all good. They're still gonna be delicious. Woo! I'm done. Time to work out. I'm here at home. It's 10 o'clock. And I'm kind of worried. I know it's not that late. But when Benji left around 5 o'clock ish to run errands and then to do work stuff, and then he's gonna go to the gym. He said he, for me to not wait for him for dinner, and he'll probably be home around 8.30. Well, <laughs> it's 10, so I called him, didn't get an answer. I called him around 9 o'clock because I'm cooking, you know, I want to heat up his food. And then I just called him again, and he's not answering, so I don't know where, what the hell he's doing, or maybe he left his phone in his car. Uh, it's just not like him to not, like, update me, especially if he knew that I was cooking. Benji eventually came home. Just as I thought, he left his phone in the locker and was at the gym much longer than I thought he would be. So... Did you vlog that I was gone and stuff? You're worried? You yeah, I was worried. Taking care of business, but not updating your wife. When I, I thought you were supposed to be home at 8.30 to eat dinner. No, no, I said I was going to work out with him at Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, at 8.30? At 8.30. I thought you said you sh you'll be back around 8.30. I said that that's when I was going to start working out. Miscommunication. No, that's what it is. Yeah. He's going to cut me watermelon. Oh, We're going to call a night. I'm watching Conan. Talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Ginger ale, which I, whenever I go out, you know, with my girlfriends or whatever, and they're drinking wine or cocktails, I'll just have some ginger ale. So that was sweet that she put that in there. Uh... I pay like three or four bucks, five bucks at Whole Foods. That's what I call a deal.